welcome to the national flowers of Asian countries. Starting with the first country is Brunei Darussalam. Brunei's national flower is the simple, the other name is Dilene. Simple is the large yellow petals. When it is fully developed that make the petals look like an umbrella. The flower can help to heal the wounds. We can find the flowers in the general river of Brunei. If you're going to visit Brunei, maybe you can see the national flower on the one dollar bill in Brunei. The second country is Kingdom of Cambodia. Cambodia's national flower is Rumdal. The flower has a white and yellow color. The petals are thick and a little bright hard and has the fragrant. Rumdal is in the Felicitous plant group. Because of the meaning the flower is refreshing and fragrancy. Rumdal is the flower for ladies. The right way to plant the flower is planting the flower in the northwest of the house and the important is you have to plant the flower on Wednesday. The third country is Republic of Indonesia. Indonesia's national flower is Moon Orchid. This is one of the flowers that bloom as long as possible. The inflorescence can branching and grow up to two to six months and reach full bloom only two to three times a year. The moon orchid can grow well in moist air. It's easy to see the flower on the low plains of Indonesia. The fourth country is the Lao People's Democratic Republic of Lao PDR. Laos's national flower is Champa. Thai people know it in the Lilavadi or Luntong. Champa is many color, non-specific that it's only white color. It can be pink, yellow, red or the pale color. Champa represented of joy and sincerity. The most widely used to decorate the ceremony and make it to the garland to welcome the guest. The fifth country is Malaysia. Malaysia's national flower is Bungarea. Bungarea is used to call in the local language, but commonly known in the red hibiscus. The petals are red color and the pollen are standing out of the flower. Bungarea is the symbol of Malaysia to strengthen the national unalien tolerance that can help to promote the noble and elegant. It also can be used in the medical and beauty as well. The sixth country is Republic of Philippines. Philippines' is national flower is Sampragaita jasmine. The flower has white color and the petals look like the star. The flower is odor the fragrant when it's bloom in the evening. Sampragaita jasmine is the symbol of purity, simplicity, humility and strength. It had been used to celebrate the legendary stories and song of the Philippines as well. The seventh country is Republic of Singapore. Singapore's national flower is Vandamis Joaquim. The Vandamis Joaquim named after the breeder was Miss Agnes Joaquim. The flower is the most known in Singapore. The Vandamis Joaquim has fresh and beautiful purple color and blooms throughout the year. It is the national flower of Singapore since 1981, 2524. The eighth country is Kingdom of Thailand. Thailand's national flower is Cassia, Ratchafuk. The flower have golden elegance color. When the flower blooming then give us the warm feeling. It is a symbol of dignity and honor. The ties are well known in the name. Kuhn, we believe that yellow cassia is the color of Buddhism. And a symbol of prosperity and harmony of the nation as well. The cassia flowers will bloom during the months of February, May. The flower has featuring is when the flower bloom is off until deciduous trees and then leaving only the yellow cashier flowers. The ninth country is the Socialist Republic of Vietnam. Vietnam's national flower is lotus the Thai people are wanted. The lotus is known. Flower of the dawn, 
and the flower is symbol of purity. Commitment and optimistic the lotus is often mentioned in the poem and the music of the indigenous. People of Vietnam are frequent. The tenth country is Union of Myanmar. Myanmar's national flower is Padawak, and that most found in Myanmar. The flower has yellow gold. An odor fragrant in the first spring season on April. And is on the same times of the Myanmar have celebrated New Year. The flower is a symbol of strength. Durability and the flower is necessary in the ritual of the Burmese. For the national flower of the Tanazian nations are likely to be in the know. If you meet some people who are follow the ASEAN to visit Thailand, let's give these flowers to welcome them. It would be a grateful and impressed quite a bit as well.